Alrighty, so I read Vesper by Jeff Sampson, and it's kind of a horror book, like scary, boo. Um, my summary would have to be that it's about a girl named Emily Webb who's going through some changes. Can't tell you what those changes are or why they're happening, but um, she's just kind of going through some changes. She's kind of a she's a loner, really. And she only has one friend, her name's Megan. She's kind of a weirdo. Uh, she'll sit at home, just watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and she'll just kind of hang out, be nerdy. Um, she changes the most to the beginning to the end because she all of a sudden becomes really social. She has friends like Spencer and Dalton or huge stars in like the school, Dalton's the main football star. Um, a minor character would have to be Megan, mainly. She kind of gets left out of everything. Nobody really knows why Emily does this to her, but it's kind of awkward that she gets left out. Um, one major external conflict would have to be that She's um, having to find out all this stuff on her own for the first couple weeks, and then she finally meets her mate. So, yeah. Um, this book was pretty amazing, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think the author could have done better at explaining some things. But I like that he kind of transitions from day to night really well. Like it's not a automatically, oh boom, it's a daytime now. Like you don't even remember falling asleep. It kind of just tells you what happened before, the night before, you know. Um, people that rate movies, I think something that would really upset them about a movie if they came up with a movie for this would be all the blood and gore. Cause a lot of people die, there's a lot of murders, it's just, uh, not spoiling, not spoiling, I swear. That's kind of like the whole reason of this book is because of a murder. Like, the first line is lit literally, it all started the night Emily Cook died. So, yeah, I would recommend this book to people who like scary books, like, about fictional characters like vampires and werewolves and zombies. I would basically recommend it to people like that. Like, if you enjoyed Michael Bay, I would read it because I enjoyed Michael Bay because I like science fiction. And it's kind of a science-y thing, you know?